Hello, everyone. Eddie here. Minecraft realms. On Devon's little realm. What's been occurring? Well, I came in after a message left on one of Devon's videos. She's been working on the floor, which I think looks really nice. And she left me a present of Fortune 3 in Efficiency 5 on Breaking 3. And a Silk Touch 1 in Efficiency 5 on Breaking 3. So I've got two really nice picks. She also left me my diving helmet, Diver Extreme 9000, which has got Protection 4, Thorn 3, Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity 1, and Unbreaking 3. I had 28 levels, so I pinched 8 diamonds, made Unbreaking 3, Protection 3, and Thorns 2 for a chess play. Now that is not bad. I've got Unbreaking 3 from 5 levels on a shovel I made. I pinched it in efficiency 4 on breaking 3 from the communal box and also pinched the sharpness 3 on breaking 3 sword from the communal boxes because Devin did say in the last episode that the home sweet home house was communal stores and to take the tools, use the tools etc etc so, I have done as instructed, I have come in, pinched a couple of diamonds, pinched a couple of lati lapis as well, pinched a couple of the tools, and pinched one of the enchanted books, that's how I got a level 5, pinched an enchanted book, stuck it on by an anvil, I knew it was somehow, cool, <laughs> definitely too organised. I've not even been down that bit. Way too organised for me. What I'm going to do, I've popped all my old armour and old tools in there. Plus I went fishing. I found some squeaky, but not sure which chest to go in, so I shall park them in there for the moment. And Devon can sort them later. What I'm going to do, that is communal stores, is apart from the stuff specifically for building fugly house, which I have done a little bit of work on. I will clear my messy stores out and pass some of the stuff over to the community because a lot of this stuff can be reused from the community stores, can't it? So, but I will show you what I've done to Fugly House before the creepers come and get me. She left me this as well. Ye old ass. Eddie's Benz. Let's go with me, ye old fishing hole, mate. Oh, I don't know. So, I've worked around here a bit more, and the vines are growing a bit since <laughs> since I did it. I've dropped this level quite a bit, so I could put a ruined tower in there. It doesn't really work as well as I want it. It's getting there definitely looking better than it did and I did only fall off once and I ended up with two arts left fortunately that waterway comes down to these steps <laughs> so I could climb up the water onto these steps I said I'd be joining the piggy but I've enclosed all that now so we have like a ruined tower going down into the crevice no, it's on his fast approaching. I'm gonna. Uh, see, I'm tempted to put a little access way out onto there as well and make that like a little parapet from inside the house. Let's go veto the creepers by zipping into sleep the night away. Oh, oh that'll do no good whatsoever there, will it? So yeah, this is what I've spent my last little bit of time in here doing. Well, give me back my torches, I need them. I 
shall show you. Hopefully, from a mob free area down here. See, I've tied this all out now. Got rid of all the dirt and stuff that shouldn't be here. So that now looks more built in and it comes up under the house for the top layer. So you've got like a, a view out across there. That's looking really nice. Doing a grand job on that, I think. It's not me, it's all Devon's work. Now I can come down here to the second layer, which is another bit of the broken castle. Not much happening in the second layer, apart from a broken floor layer. But it's room to put some chests in there if I need them. Down to the floor floor, and you've got the windows looking out and in and down. Over, where did I have it? It's in one of these bits, I think it's upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be one of them days with a mouse again. Up here, we've got my water drop and ladder down to bedrock. Did do a bit of branch mining the other day, didn't find a lot, so didn't write home about it, as it were. But it's definitely looking better. She left me loads of these mossy stones and can't see any now. Cracked stones, stone bricks. Because she found the um, stronghold. She mentioned it in the last episode, she found the stronghold. So, bonus for Fugly House, it gets some new materials to work with. So, I've tidied it up a bit added a few more vines across it and made it a little bit more I don't know a little bit more organic it's getting this stuff loads of work that'll take me years to finish this what the other thing I've been doing we were discussing in the comments is that spawn is all the way over there and it needs a pathway now I always thought of a bridge, a bridge to spawn, but then I've seen that someone's doing a lot of terraforming here, and I'm assuming this could be Devon. And if Devon's terraforming, she may be cutting her way through here to get to spawn. And if that's the case, I won't do the bridges, I'll wait and find out what her plan is for this. If her plan is for that, I'll leave the bridges. I have just nudged off the front of these caves at the moment. Have they closed in now? Good. What have I got? Smooth stone. Have I got any gravel on me? No, just smooth stone. And lots of it. Right now that's coloured in. I can fill them in, see? I wanted the grass to get to them, so yeah, I've just kind of walled in the caves a bit. They're still there, you can still get in them, but didn't want the mobs getting out to the pathway back. Now, I don't know what route Devon's taken, but all I've done is run a little path. B dubs an Arcus style gravel, stone, brick, and cobble path to a very simple spawn centre. Now, Spawn itself is kind of here <laughs> on this edge of the mountain a bit, which is a real bind because it means you can spawn up there, which is what I did, or you can spawn down here. But I put this, I pinched some of Devon's glowstone to light it up so people, if they're up there, they can see it. If they're on the other side of the hill, they can see over and us anyway. So I've set that up. I've also set up in here a very simple safe home, which I mean meant to put some bits in. I haven't really got much else to put in there. I did put some bits in there. Take sticks and I haven't got any cobble. That's cobble. That's wood. So, I got sticks, cobble, wood, 
I can make tools, they got the furnaces and a bed. So that is a little safe haven. Like if they spawn at night they can dive in there quick. If they're the only ones on they can sleep the night away. Glad the trees are growing through. That one can go because it's not gonna grow there. But it might up here. We've got a nice avenue of trees. Coming down here would be nice. But I don't want them too dark. So let's light them up a bit. So I imagine you spawned up here. I uh, might have to work something about removing that to make it a proper spawn. Spawn up here, you come down. It's daytime, so you don't wait in there. You come along your path. And why isn't that back? Oh, I could do with that in the Miklos server I play on. So I died in my bat form when it took my morph away, so I no longer have a bat. And you come down here, sorry. And you get to either the bridge that way or whatever Devin's doing through this way to get to spawn. So, whichever she feels happier with, I'm happy to work along with. If she needs help terraforming, I can chip in, choose my way through some of that as well. Hello, duck. You're supposed to be a chicken, but you're in the water, so you're a duck now. And my incredible floating box of gravel. The magic. Coming down as lily pads. Always great if you want to build on water above water, put a lily pad there and you can start in the middle of anywhere. So it's a choice. You can we can either come through here, which is kind of you walk into a solid wall there. Or as Devon looks like she might be doing, you're coming through here. And you get to see the fishing shack and Devon's or home sweet home rather than Devon's place was the place Devon's working on is the best way of describing it. She wants it as home sweet home so everyone uses it. Or if you come past this mountain you get to the Fugly house. Which he's definitely getting there. Still needs more work. Still got the lake. The end of the lake. So if somebody needs somewhere to stay before setting up an house. Feel free to jump in there, there's a little bit of food in there. There's beds, room and a chest to keep you keep you occupied. And this big wide open space there. The world is gone. That is very slow a world in the world today. It's probably because I'm recording. But we're not gonna do the world's longest record today. It's more of a jump in, show you what's going on. As in, hello cats. Uh, she's my vine ladder up here. Oh, my bestie. Yeah, but Devin's done a lot around on these bits as well. So what I'm tempted to do is very soon start shaping this pond a bit because we need to mow the lawn bring it in a bit maybe round it off with this gazebo -y bit we could almost take the water to the edge of it almost maybe I'm not sure what Devon wants to do with that, so I won't dive into it too much without finding out what she would like occurring. Because this looks like it's been partially terraformed, or it's part of the original. So I don't want to delve too deep into that bit. Until we know. I love these vines everywhere. Saves a lot of jumping. Right, what else is going on? I've got to work on this tree. Up top, a lot of the leaves are put on despawned. So I've got to work this tree into the building a bit more. Get it balanced over. 
Um, what else have I done? Yeah, not much really. We got the new floor courtesy of Devon. I do like that. Takes me ages to find a crafting table now. I'm like this until I see it there. So I may have to make another one quickly. Because I just get lost otherwise. Well then. Well then. There goes a crafting episode after all. Yep. And I've got to get used to doing it. Is it my time? Yeah. But no, it's kind of an update episode to show you where it's at and what it's doing. It's good to see people asking Devin if they can join the Radicals. But if Devin says no, please don't be disappointed. Because it is, sometimes it's better with a small number of people rather than a large number of people. And if you're unsure of who's coming in, you don't know whether they're going to grieve or whether they're going to just go around and build on top of other people's houses and stuff. 90% of people are brilliant. It's the 10% that spoil it for everyone else. So, if she says no, it's not because you're a bad person. Yeah, It's not because she doesn't like you or anything like that. It's because nobody's sure. Okay, on that note, I'm going to call it an episode, because I think I am coming down with a cold or a flu or something, and I'm not feeling great, and I'm hoping I don't, because I don't want to lose any more episodes. So, until next episode, have a brilliant day, bye!